So he mentioned the tires, so you might think you want a big aggressive tread, but in sand you don't. You want a, a slick tread or a file tread because when you're churning up, the sand on a mud tread just comes up in a big rooster tail. It causes extra energy. So, um, you know, of course, if you only have one set of tires, then don't worry about it. Just use what you have. But if you have a choice, use a file tread. And like the Clement LAS is a clincher that's great for sand. And so if you have mud tubulars and then you have your clinchers for training, it would be better to use a file tread clincher that has a big size if you can run at a low pressure. Jumping around a little bit. Another tip is to have your weight back. Right? You don't want to have all your weight on the front wheel. You need that front wheel to float a little bit above the sand. So your weight back. What's another one, Ben? Uh, most of the times you go with the two guys. One guy takes a, a pad, does he take another pad, does the guy for you, crashes, you can pass him and you can maybe drive longer. There you go, right? Drive Normally drive. in cross, you're with a group. There's a lot of other people on the course. You don't want to follow the guy right in front. Choose a different line. So when he crashes, you can go. Um, another one is... Um, um, there is a pad. The best is to take the pad and not going... Oh, right. So if there's a beaten down track or a rut, you want to go in the rut, not on the fresh sand. The rut has been cut down to the firm ground underneath, so though the rut looks a little scary, and you're like, I don't want to put my wheels in that rut, usually it's better because there's a bottom down there somewhere of hard ground, and the rut is going to be where the hard ground is. So you go in the rut. You know, just go right in the rut and just relax and your wheels will just stay in the rut. Um, you want to keep pedaling. Um, you want to choose the proper gear. Um, so it's either the same gear that you're riding as you approach the sand. Sometimes one gear is easier because as you get into the sand, you're going to slow down. Right? You're going to slow down and you want to already be in a slightly easier gear. Every sand pit is different, right? Some are uphill, flat, or downhill. That's going to determine. But during your practice, try to figure out what gear you want to be in and select that gear before you get to the sand pit so you don't have to shift when sand is flying. What else? 